Welcome to the workflow video series for the Texas Public Safety Report System. In this Step 1 Part A video, I'll show you how to add a new arrest record to the system. Please know that all defendant information you'll see is fictitious dummy data. Now let's get started. After you've signed in to the Public Safety Report System, make sure you're on the home page on the Pending Bail Forms tab. From here, click Add Arrest. This launches the Add Arrest Wizard which guides us through entering the defendant's information and arrest details. On this defendant page, we first need to check whether the defendant's information already exists in the system from a previous arrest. This check prevents you from entering duplicate data. Let me show you the different scenarios you may see. First, I enter the defendant's name. In this scenario, the system found a match. I'll click on it to view the details and confirm it's the right person. If this is the right person, you're then done with this page and you can click Next. You're then prompted to enter arrest and defense information, and I'll get to that in a few moments. In the second scenario, back on the first page, the system not only found a match, it's also notifying me that this person already has a pending arrest in the system that has not been magistrated yet. This might mean the arrest record that I was about to enter was already entered by someone else. To be sure, I need to click on this link, which exits the wizard and shows me the arrest details. I can always start the wizard again if needed. Lastly, in this third scenario, the system did not find a match, so I need to enter the defendant's information myself. I'll click Add New Defendant and enter the defendant's name and date of birth. Here, if you have TLETS access, you can enter the defendant's SID or FBI number as shown here. The system uses this number to automatically retrieve criminal history. When available, enter the FBI number instead of the SID, as the FBI number allows for a broader criminal history search across agencies and states. If the defendant has a previous arrest in the system, this page may actually populate the SID or FBI number for you. Now, if you don't know the SID or FBI number, that's okay, you can still continue with the rest of the wizard. In a separate video, I'll show you how to search for an SID or FBI number. If you do not have TLETS access, you won't be able to enter an SID or FBI number at all, as shown here. But you can still continue with the rest of the wizard, and then another user with TLETS access can retrieve criminal history. Again, we'll go over this in another video. Okay, I'm done entering information, so I'll click Next. We're now on the Arrest page of the wizard. You'll land on this page regardless if the defendant already existed in the system or if you had to enter their info manually. Here, we'll enter details about the defendant's arrest and defenses. In the top section, enter the cause or case and arrest info. Note that the arrest time is the time of the arrest, not the time of the booking. The county of arrest is the county where the arrest took place, not the county that issued a warrant for the arrest. In this section, we'll enter offenses. Click Add Offense. Enter the offense date and the number of counts of the offense. In the statute field, I can start typing the number or description of the statute, and the system auto-completes the field for me. Depending on the statute, this level degree field may auto-populate and I can't change it. If it doesn't auto-populate, I can click the drop-down arrow and select an option from the list. I'll click Add and the offense is added to the list. I'll repeat these steps to add the remaining offenses from this arrest. Next, note the Magistration Location field, which is where the defendant will have their magistration hearing. By default, the field displays your current location, but you can change it if needed. If you're not sure where magistration will occur, that's okay. You can leave the default location as is, and then we can update the magistration location later when we complete the electronic bail form. Now we can finish up the wizard. Two scenarios can occur here. At the bottom of the page, a Save button appears if you don't have TLETS access or if you did not enter an SID or FBI number for the defendant on the previous page. If you do have TLETS access and you entered an SID or FBI number, this button says Save and Retrieve Criminal History. That's the part I referred to earlier when I said the system can retrieve criminal history for you automatically. Regardless of which button appears, click it to save everything you've entered and exit the wizard. The arrest is now added to the system and you're taken to the Defendant Overview. Join me for the next video where I'll explain more about the Defendant Overview and its functionality. Thanks for watching.